you know how Amazon makes billions of dollars? It's through an advanced faceted search and filter functionality. You probably buy on Amazon. When you search for something, it shows up and you have the filter on the left. And what is the first thing that you do? You click the prime filter because you want your product to show up in the next two days. At Optimum 7, we build this technology and we can increase your conversions by at least 15 to 20%. Watch the rest of this video to see how this technology works. This week, we will talk about faceted search an advanced search and filter using the Algolia framework and infrastructure. So Joe, we've probably worked on over a thousand projects such as this one, some small, some medium size, and some really large projects with millions and millions of products. Talk to us about the faceted search and advanced filter. Why is this a very important functionality for e-commerce, especially right now? Yeah. So we're always talking about conversion optimization and how you can get more e-commerce sales. This is just another aspect of it and a very important one. Essentially, what faceted search or advanced search is, is it gives your users the ability to find what they're looking for very quickly. Right. So you have a search bar at the top. An individual will go to your site. Let's say they're looking for rubber gloves. They're going to go and type in rubber gloves. However, if the search results that they get or the drop down that they see are not really related to the type of rubber gloves or the rubber gloves that they're looking for, they're not going to buy from you. So what this database allows you to do is it allows you to create synonyms. It allows you to create rules and that you can then essentially tag these individual products so that when somebody searches for rubber gloves, you also start to display whether it be vinyl gloves, disposable gloves. So it just gives them a lot more relevancy within their search parameters. Got it. So the most basic concept here is this. Uh, the average attention span of a user is decreasing uh, and, and we are not patient at all as Internet users. Anywhere around the world, we're not patient. So when we go to an e-commerce site, first of all, we have thousands of e-commerce sites to choose from and thousands of search results on Google search results to choose from. We, as the consumer, as the internet users, we have a lot of options, right? That's why we're spoiled. And there are a couple of large companies, large e-commerce companies that spoiled us. One of them is Amazon. Probably if you're listening to this, there's a 99% chance that you're shopping on Amazon. And one of the functionalities that you love on Amazon is when you go to Amazon, one of the first things that you do if you're a prime customer is you press prime. That's an advanced filter. When you click the prime button, only the search results that are prime by Amazon are available for you to see. Okay. Why do you do that? Because you get that uh, within 48 hours and you don't have to pay for shipping. Why do you do that? Because you trust Amazon more, right? So when it comes to advanced search and filter, it sounds like a very, very basic functionality. Hey, advanced search and filter. I might not really need that, but you need it as an e-commerce business. You need it. And the reason that you need it is you're competing with Amazon and you're competing with the average attention span of a user. So if you do not have it, and if you have over 100 products, you are definitely losing. And I'll say this very aggressively over 10, 15% in conversions if you don't have advanced search and filters. Because no matter how cool or how great you think your e-commerce site is, if you don't have advanced search and filters, you're losing sales. Now, let's talk more about the technical side of this. So obviously I go to a site and I'm looking for, for example, I'm, you know, I love guitars and I probably own nine guitars, right? If, I'm, if I go to Samash, right, or guitarcenter.com, and I look for guitars, the first thing I'm going to type, I play flamenco. So I'm going to type flamenco guitars. When I look for flamenco guitars, there are many different types of flamenco guitars from different manufacturers. So I might filter by brand. Maybe I'm looking to spend $5,000. Maybe I'm looking to spend $500. So I need to see that price filter. And this is just for guitars, right? If you are a B2B business, which is really hot right now during these difficult times, and if you are selling bolts and screws, or if you're saying selling some kind of machinery part, you're going to have tons and tons of filters. So talk to us about why Algolia is important. Like I could create these filters and put it on my big commerce database. I could use custom fields of big commerce, custom fields of Shopify, Volusion, 3D card, Sitecore, right? That's one option. The second option is I could use a 
an outside database that I host on my Amazon servers or my DigitalOcean servers. The third option is I could use something like an Algolia uh, infrastructure to actually store and serve that information when somebody tests it. Why is the Algolia infrastructure important? Well, I would say first and foremost is you need clean data. All of those different search elements that you just mentioned right now, the you know brand, pricing, um, the more specific you want your search to be, the only way that that's going to happen in the first place is if you have that data in the back end. Um, this is where we see a lot of companies, they kind of come to us and they want this advanced search and filter. However, they don't have this data attached to each and every one of their products, therefore making it very, very difficult. What Algolia allows you to do is it allows you to essentially easily create all of that data and store all of that data. And then you can start tagging and making your own rules based on those specific products that you have and the search terms that you see pe individuals are searching for on your site. So this is something that these uh, you know, e-commerce platforms don't necessarily provide right out of the box. They, their search platform, their search tool just isn't that powerful. In that case, if you want something really specific and really advanced, you're going to need to use a database like Algolia. Going back to what I said in the beginning, creating synonyms or negative keywords, right? So if you know that there are similar products or similar uh, or two different products with similar names, and styles, but you know that a specific search term, this is what they're looking for, you can neglect to show those other products that might come up because it has the same word within the product name, which is how these e-commerce platforms are doing their basic search uh, feature. Got it. So let's recap it. Number one, the Algolia database allows you to define your filters and define those parameters a lot uh, more efficiently. Uh, number two, you are able to create unlimited custom rules with the, with the Algolia database, uh, where you can basically have similar products, have synonyms, have misspellings, uh, send misspellings to different landing pages. You can get as detailed as having search intent, right? And another thing that Algolia does is it tracks all the searches and all of this information. So you can actually get a report from Algolia that shows you what people are searching for, how many results they've had. And if you want to accept, if you want to get an exception, like, uh, okay, well, 2000 people in the past 60 days searched for this keyword, which is let's say ABC, but on average, you only have three results for this while you have 20 results for all these other keywords, right? So you know that people are looking for ABC and you don't have enough search results. This could be because of your rules, this could be because you don't have enough products. So everything, when you go to a site, think about Amazon right now, forget your site, think about Amazon. Everything on Amazon starts with a search. So I'll even make the assumption that if somebody goes to Amazon, only 5% of people will go to a category page. 95% of people will actually go to search and search for something. And after that, the first, the second thing that they're going to do after they search is they're going to filter. Right? They're going to either filter for prime or they're going to filter for price. And your site needs it. Whether you like it or not, your site needs it. And we did a search session before I gave this as an example. This is like, you know, anybody that worked as a bartender knows what I'm talking about. When somebody sits at your bar, your goal is to get them that first drink as fast as possible, have them drink as fast as possible. And whenever they're done with that drink, get them that second drink as fast as possible. Because the faster you are in terms of how you offer them that drink, or if they ask a question, what's good here? You better know what's good there because the more time you take, taking that order means that the less they're going to order during the time that they're there and 15% of their check total is your tip. So your goal as a bartender is to sell them as fast as possible and also serve them as many drinks as fast as possible. This is the same concept with the search and filter functionality. If they're taking 10 minutes to find what they're looking for, you are a lot more likely to lose them as a customer. They go somewhere else where they can get it faster. And your average order volume is a lot more likely to decrease because they're going to order less stuff. So this is why advanced search and filters is important. And with faceted search, this is why the Algolia database is essential. And Joe, there are some advanced stuff that we can do with the Algolia database as well. What we can do is we can 
create custom. Let's talk about some of those custom rules. What are those custom rules? Number one, we can tie any keyword to a landing page or any search term to a landing page, correct? Yep. Two, we have related terms that we can do. The other thing that we can do is a lot of these search terms are actually upsell opportunities, right? If you can build a logic relationship with your previous orders, and we've done this for maybe 10, 15 uh, clients so far, is we'll show search results based on which products were bundled together. So based on the history of your entire business. So we'll crawl all your orders and we'll crawl what products were packaged together. And in search and filter, we'll create like a bundled together section if we believe that they are very likely to buy those two or three or four items together. Amazon has this. They say add all to cart below. Like if you're buying a camera, they're going to try to sell you a camera case and a lens and a, and a tripod, you know? So you're able to build all these custom rules on Algolia. And the last thing that's very important about Algolia is how fast it works. It works incredibly fast because their technology is really good. Their API is really good. And the page does not reload. So a lot of these apps that you use on Shopify, big commerce, right? 3D card, Magento plugins, WooCommerce plugins. When you click that filter, let's say you're looking for products between $100 and $300, you're going to see the page reload. With the Algolia database, it doesn't reload. It shows it to you right away. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works on a couple of different sites through a screencast, and you'll be able to see this. Is there anything we missed, Joe? Um, no, I think you pretty much covered it. Uh, I think that you know the semantic search is huge, You know, especially when it comes to stock quantity, right? And you may be out of stock. Let's say I'm going to a site and I type in Yeti Tumblr, right? But I'm all out of Yeti, but I have Arctic. So I want to make sure that I'm displaying products because the consumer may say, oh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and get the Arctic. But if you just display none because you're out of stock, there you go. You just lost that sale. So the semantic search is huge. And like you said, being able to load those search results on the same URL without having to reload the page is a game changer. So just to recap, you are able to increase your conversion rates. You are able to have upsell opportunity. You're able to have your customers find what they're looking for a lot faster. So from a usability or customer satisfaction standpoint, you're going to get less requests. Uh, it helps with your phone calls and your support because you won't have people asking you if you have this or that in stock. They'll be able to find it right away. And maybe 10 other custom rules you can create that actually increase your conversion rate, average order volume, lifetime value. And another aspect of this is it can be set up in a way where you can actually have these search results indexed on Google. So you could actually have very, very nice landing pages for Facebook AdWords, et cetera, et cetera. If you look at the Amazon site again, you're going to see that look how big this search is highlighted and let's say i want to find the product i want to find pet treats you see this drop down this drop down is served from a database so algolia makes it easy uh, to really fast look how fast this is and again this is a you know billion dollar company but you know for small dogs so look at these suggestions right uh now if i just put for small dogs Let's say, and it, it filters it in terms of how many people are searching for it. Then you're going to see the results. And look, their first thing is Prime. I definitely want Prime. And look, when I do filter, it will reload the page really, really fast. And then I have all this, you know, do I want brand? And let's say I'm looking for under $25, right? And then it's going to show me all the ones that are under 25. And I want average customer reviews. You know, I don't want to see anything less than four stars and then that's it's going to give me that and the way that it, it it organizes this it sorts this is again of course amazon wants to prioritize um the products that have the lowest return rate and the highest profit so amazon's algorithm is crazy right but the reason that i'm showing you amazon is to sh to to basically portray how essential this functionality is from an e-commerce standpoint. And if you look at, you know, if you want to take anybody as an example, 
take this as an example, take Amazon as an example, because they know what they're doing. This is the function, this is the primary functionality that made them number one in the world. Now, similar, let's show you a smaller business that has this functionality. Now, if I come here, you see what happens? Like this, this, this is very subtle, right? When you click on the search, you're going to gray out everything. And what I want to do is I want to say, let's say I want to look for a school table, right? And then school table might show me only the, these products. But if I search for activity table, right? It's going to show me specific products. This client didn't want category pages to be displayed on their search results, only products. But if I don't select anything and I say search for activity table, what I'm able to see in the search results is these activity tables, right? Now, on the search results, we didn't enable filters for this client because he just wanted the products to be displayed. But if you actually go to tables and he only wanted it, again, this is why this functionality is it's very customizable. And if you look at activity tables, you'll see that this client wanted a top navigation filter with visuals, right? Like if I'm looking for a horseshoe, look how fast the page will load. There you go. You see, look, there is no reload time. And then if I want a specific shape, let's say I want all the square tables that are um, a specific height, right? Standard height, that's it. So look how fast this loads. This is what Algolia is able to do for you, okay? Now, I can turn it on on any category. I can turn it on or turn it off on search results pages. It's very, very customizable. Another client, completely different product, more filters. If you come here and if you look at anchors, you're going to see that all those search results are fed. And look at all these filter results on the left navigation. So if I'm looking for, uh, you know, drop and anchors, you see, and then I'm looking for the... Um, right thread direction. And these are the products that I have. Now for this one, if I search for both, this client actually wanted keyword searches and then products. So if you want any kind of uh, result here um, in terms of category pages, you can do that as well. Another example you can look at is specialist ID. Now, if you search for uh, ID badge, for example, you're going to see the suggested term, but if you search for ID badge holder, again, you're going to see all of this. Now, if I go and if I actually search for this product, I have color as an option here, and I have all these different types of uh, orientation, uh, material type, et cetera, et cetera. And if I click on it, you see it loads pretty fast, and this is another functionality. So it's very, very customizable. And Algoli allows you to set up all of this uh, in a very efficient manner, the database works uh, really well. Now we're talking about e-commerce, but it doesn't have to be e-commerce. You can really use this feature for anything that you'd like, any kind of search, internal search, website search, document search. Algolia's technology is pretty good. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on marketing, e-commerce, custom development, and much more. Plus, new episodes of Surge, our weekly e-commerce and digital marketing podcast released every Wednesday.